Hey, welcome back. It's another day for me. And uh, we just got the odd keystone to start collecting all the uh, spirit tomb shards or whatever. I think they called them wisps. Uh, I remember that I was looking for Bidoofs in the town somewhere, but I... I'm not gonna look for them too hard. Um, looks like the little friend whose name starts with A is here. Ak Akari. Oh, hello, Orange Rush YouTube. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. It must be a sign. From Arceus. From the... From Sinnoh. Let's have a fine battle so I can grow closer with Pikachu. I'm just gonna switch to Graveler. Akari challenged you to battle. My Junior! Oh, right. This is, uh, this is bad. This is worse. Yeah, so if he's, uh... I think he's psychic. Might be psychic fairy. Um... Oh, but I do have bite, though. Maybe I'll hit him with Astonish? No, not Iron Defense. That's just gonna make this battle so much slower. That is a strong for a little Mime Jr. All I had to do it was surprise it a little and it gave up. Nope, this is bad. This is bad. So Thunder Wave comes out of every direction of Pikachu's body, huh? Watch her somehow know I'm switching into Graveler. Uh, let me just chill though. You know, use Tackle a couple times. Now I could do Mud Slap, Strong Style. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Or I could use all my uh, my rock slides as soon as possible and then get the, uh, get the evolution. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. Dang! My Jolteon went up at least five levels. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Stealth sprays, a hopo berry, and three bug warts. So I've been working on studying those strange space-time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. Seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon, too. If you plan on to go to into one, be careful about it. Now, time to head to the Myerlands camp. So, rare candy is different than the XP candy. The XP candies seem to work a little better. And I might be wasting this. Just like I wasted all my grit dust. See, that made it go up six levels. That's way better than... than a rare candy. And it still doesn't have baby doll eyes like I need it to have. Or Thunderbolt. Okay, here's how we do it. 
No, it, that's not. That's not how we do it. Bulldoze is a little better than Mud Slap, especially it's twice as powerful. Oh, I gotta confirm. And Crunch. Crunch is way better than Bite. Oh, but I think I need to see it use bite or something. No, I don't. Heck yeah, we're working our way up. And now I have Magical Leaf and Air Slash. Um, I guess Air Slash is better than Gust, but I think I still need to watch Dartrix use Leafage a couple times. Now, let me check if I have everything I need from Graveler. Nope, I need to watch it use Rock Slide 16 more times before I can uh, change it into a Golem. If... Oh, cool. And then this is a whole other area I get to travel to now. The Myrlins Camp. Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon, and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Orange Rash YouTube. If you're looking for the Selassian Ruins, they're off that way. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. It sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokémon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokémon and items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can. Be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zizu change, teach your Pokemon some strong moves. And then, how many times did I have to watch my... My Luxio use Thunderfang? Three more times. Three more Thunderfangs. Now, I like Roserade because, uh, Cynthia uses it. And that's what Badoo turns into Roselia, who turns into Roserade. Uh-oh. Well, gives me another chance to use Thunderfang. One, that's two more. Might not even have to beat Psyduck with uh, electric type moves. Yep, not really. But I do have to defeat 10 more of them anyway. And then these I gotta still hit with fire. I also 
also have to watch Griffin use this move. So, just need to beat four more Paris with uh, fire. And I like how there's lots of grass. So I gotta be very sneaky. I think I was far away enough for it not to have any idea what what happened. And then I am now running out of uh, space in my thing. Time to craft a bunch of stuff. There we go, that's a little better. So one is R, one is B. Oh, one is red and one is blue. I get it. That's what the R stands for. And it looks like I have to sell a couple things back to the camp. need any ox powers but I'm pretty sure I need most of this stuff And I've never seen a use for any of these Nana Berries, so I might just put them away. That should work! Although I don't think I'm ever gonna need a Hyper Potion anytime soon, so I'll just save those for later. A Carnivine? Should be easy to catch since it's so big. Uh oh. It's like a Sesame Street character. He's a Muppet. Now what do I have to do about Carnivine? Defeat them with flying type moves. I have to defeat pretty much every one of them with a flying type move. And I don't need to see... Oh no, I need to see Dartrix use strong and agile styles, so... Of all its moves. Burmy sand. Got him. Huh? 
And it doesn't count as Burmy sand, it counts as Burmy Burmy. He kicks it. I wonder if that counted as not being noticed. Oh, never mind. I think he noticed. Kill a lily. <laughs> so short. Psyduck over there is having a hard time, but... You know how much they like being out in the open? And having all the appropriate amount of space and all that? Well, too bad. Because I'm going to put them all on the same little farm. And then never do anything with them. Yeah, let's do the strong styles first. And I know it can't miss because it's aerial ace. All I need is one more Thunderfang and I got my... Lux ring. All right, that's everything I need to do with Luxio or not. Nah. If it's not, I'm gonna be so sad. Bite, Thunderfang. Nice. Everything else is about wild Luxray. Or Luxio. Do it. to do about Lux Rays. Thunder... I have to see it use Thunder Fang, Crunch, and Wild Charge, and Strong Style of each of them. Does it even have Wild Charge yet? supposed to involve a certain number of uh, Fibro. Oh, no, I was only supposed to ever evolve the one, so now I'm totally finished. Just make sure that Fiberol has Aqua Tail. It's not going to have Aqua Tail for a while. Does it even have to use any moves? Bite and Aqua Tail. Agile style because he's 
so wimpy. Got the uh, angle. And by Whippy, I mean he's quadruple weak to flying and fire. In the original games, Kanto, uh, there's really not much point in having a fire type because flying covers pretty much all the same type effectiveness as fire does. So if you have a Pidgey or a Starly, or even a Hoot Hoot, there's just not that much good it's going to do you, having a Embers. I guess Torchic is a little bit more useful because it's the first flying you get is like Swellow and they're really rare. But Pidgeys are everywhere. Every root there's a Pidgey for the most part. Done catching Saida. I got a little a lull in me off just showed up in my in my room. So flying type moves. That's what I gotta do. Let's try the strong style because he's technically a fully evolved Pokemon. Still not very good because grass is just a terrible defensive typing. It's a good uh, offensive typing. You should have a grass move on someone in your team at all times. Um, because so many Pokemon are only weak to grass. Paris has no business picking this many fights when it has two quadruple weaknesses. Coming up like it owns the place. A new campsite. Oh no, it's just the remains of someone's campfire and there's nothing I can do about it. Why is it so shiny? Is it always that shiny? I guess if you're gonna grind, do it in uh, higher areas because there's more valuable items, like those iron chunks are better than uh, just tumble stones. Should I run towards that tree? 
should I keep going about my business? I'm just guessing on those angles, to be honest. I'm not feeding these Krikatot nearly enough. Am I supposed to feed Carnivine? I mean, it has a huge mouth. No. No, I'm not. I'm just supposed to catch a bunch of them. That was the first one I caught? No way. Uh-oh. That might be the only one I ever catch. Because it's gonna eat me. I'm using Dark Ricks a lot because it's going to be real soon that I see him uh, turn into his uh, Decidui fit, uh, form. And then it's wanting me to collect my bonus for getting that lost satchel. But maybe I should have done that a little later so that I could have that. another space in my satchel. Uh, there's not much good in using uh, Air Slash right now since I... Oh, does that count as a flying move, Roost? Yeah, there's not much point in having a... getting the experience candy because I need room in my satchel. It could have been like an extra inventory space, but I had to do it weird. There we go. I'm supposed to see it use Acid Spray, and I'm probably not gonna have a Carnivine in my party, because he's, uh... Last I checked, he was PU here. Yeah, I'll save the, uh... The Roost for when I actually need it. Is that Ghastly? I'm so hyped! I love Ghastly! That's not a space-time distortion, that's just a Ghastly! Got him. Heck yeah. I don't know why, but it seems like Ghastly has more polygons than everyone else. The edges are just not round enough. Pengrowth! More like Pengrowth! <laughs> Yeah, and I can use an agile style grass move because he's quad weak to grass and water. Oh, no way! Alright, 
and then I'll switch to Drift Blim so I can hypnotize the, uh, uh, my dude there. And I don't need to be any more Geodude with grass-type moves. Just water. Their eyes just look wrong. They're, they're not good eyes. Oh, you're gonna sleep powder me before I can hypnotize you? No way. That's not good. Well... I'll send out this guy. As like, fodder. And... Attempt to throw leaden balls at it and hope that it works. Dark tricks because he has a uh, some of the best chance here. Or maybe now's the time to show off my strong style aerial ace. Oh, ha! Dang. It's weird to see that grass doesn't resist flying. Hey, thanks, Dartrix. You saved me like 500 Poke Yen. Giga Impact, that's nice, because that's typically a move that makes you have to chill out. After. And of course Graveler's gonna get knocked out by an energy ball or even an absorb. Heck yeah. Was it worth it? No, it was not. Graveler is not a good guy to have well, around all these grass Pokemon. Time to run. Oh. Am I ever even going to use that Tangro? Probably not. Alright, I can just teleport back to where I'm from now. There's Badoof even out here. Not that I am gonna teleport, because I can't concentrate on anything in this game. Why are you running? Oh, I can't get a fix on them.
cool that they have Venishok. I've never seen a Ghastly with Venishok. That's... Oh, am I supposed to beat any Ghastly with ground type? Nope. With ghost type moves. Hey, I know you from Pokémon Tournament. You're the one who's terrible. What? Nani? Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Ha 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 ha. This is all I have to do. Never mind, I have to escape the wild Pokemon. I'll do a bunch of other dumb stuff on my way there. I have two whole hours before I have to go to work and I just get to play this game. I am so happy. And all I have to do to heal everybody, just lay down for five minutes. And they have a perfectly restored will to fight. When did I get a Thunderstone? Did I beat someone and get it from him? Nice. Things are going very well. I am having a great time playing this game. Make my leaden balls first, and then my great balls second, and then all the rest go in a Pokeball. Uh, because I can just buy Pokeballs. No, not rest. Oh, I can only afford ten of them because I'm dumb and... I can sell things from my item boxes? That's helpful. Heck yeah. Did a squat, do my squats, my lunges. going. You see, that restored all my aerial ace PP. what I'm supposed to defeat him with, right? It's... No, only fire-type moves. But Parasect I'm supposed to beat with flying. So I'll have Drift Limb on hand here. 
You know, I've never trained a Drifblim, Drifblim before this game. It's my first time. catch them from so far away. Didn't want to do it the easy way, now we gotta do it the hard way. need three more agile style moves and five more strong style because roost totally counted One. Two. To heal that eight hit points or whatever. There we go. That's what I want to get hit with. And then there's one strong. Just need one more agile. So Stun Spore doesn't work on uh, grass types. That's what was happening there. Oh, I still need one Agile, two Strongs. for your thunder things. Oh right, it was supposed to be uh, agile. No, strong style. Everything's gotta be strong with Luxray. No, I cannot feed them while uh, they're running away. I have to sneak up on them to feed them. And I already totally forgot about word deer. No, you got scared of the honey? Just eat it.
Why is it only bugs that like the honey though? I have to do that five more times, but it never works. Do the story. Never mind. He didn't know. That's what noise it makes? That's silly. It does a dive kick. I think I've caught all the Psyduck I need after this one. Psyduck. One more, one more Psyduck actually. Now Carnivine are pretty cool, but they're, they're not good. Their stats are not as good as a Pokemon you actually have to evolve. The ones that are born fully evolved are usually like the same power as a middle evolution. so cool to land stuff like that. Okay, that that was horrible. style moves. Don't get mad! Oh, why are you mad? Am I not supposed to hit them with it? If it hits them in the face, they don't like it. They don't want to eat the food. Would you have guessed that or no? Count. Or did it? Do I have five feedings? No, I don't. That didn't count. It, my food disappeared, but... 
No, it wasn't because the bug ate it. How many more of those do I have to catch until I get a conscience? Five more Psyduck. I'm just running around in circles catching these guys. So how did they come to the conclusion that everyone in this area was like a poison type move user? all you got. I just threw two of them totally by accident. No, actually it was on purpose. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, oh come on, Pokemon. What? Cricketots have such amazing vision. Now it notices me. <laughs> and I am supposed to beat a couple of barrels with some electric type moves. What's in the space-time distortion? Oh, that's creep. Of course it can't go through rocks. I was like, maybe? Maybe it could. Uh-oh. Uh... The Badoo and... No, I'm supposed to sneak up on the Badoos. And the Resselia. Anything I gotta... QRS. Psychic type moves.
And you're quad weak to psychic, so I assume I gotta use psychics. I actually have to be with uh, Astonish. Wrong style Astonish. Just extra astonishing. What is this? I have to throw- oh, of course I have to throw something at it. A Griplin! Defeat it with dark type moves, luckily I have to do stuff with this dude. Do some strong style crunches. Never mind, those are not options. That's not good. Oh, calm mind. Raises all stats. Special attack, attack, defense, special defense. Uh, now would be a good time for a super potion. Orange Rush, YouTube used the Super Potion. Never mind, it's not a great time, but it is a decent time. Let's try Strong Style Thunder right now. Because I don't have Strong Style Crunch yet. Oh my gosh, really? Oh. But, the buffs are temporary, I see. That's the drawback. That's how they balance it. Oh. And then if you are not actually in the battle, use your weakest healing item. Because the super potions have more value because they take less time to use, fewer turns. A what? I didn't expect a Porygon Z to even be in this game. Now, I had Graveler in here just for the, uh, the try attack resist, but it's not going to work out that way. Oh, I should have used Rock Slide on the Floatzel. Whatever. And the Luxios can't do a whole lot to him. But Graveler does have some pretty awful special defense. Oh, 
Oh good, now it they waited until now to use a Aqua Jet. Not when I had my graveling. They know how it is out here. I want that Porygon. You know they never ended up making an episode of Porygon 2 or Porygon Z because of that. Porygon's horrible reputation in Japan for causing that seizure episode. Okay, so I have to use ZL. I can't use ZR and ZL to navigate between Pokemon because... ZR is how you use the item. Do I want the water resist? Put the neutral to electric. The weak to electrics. Or the resist to electrics and neutral to water. Okay, I guess I gotta. But I'm trying to catch the floatzel first. Okay to have my my Jolteon. Oh yikes. Yeah, I guess I'm not in so much of a hurry. I can start using uh, heavy balls. And plus they are also much weaker than the Floatzel. I think the Floatzel is was in its like level 30s and this is these guys are like level 20. And you know, just to show that I care, I'm gonna use my super potion. If it were a Decidueye, it would be immune to the quick attack, it would resist the Thunder Fang, and, uh, but be weak to bite, so I think overall it would be worse. Oh, you can just bite me twice? Gah! That's alright, I showed you I cared just a little bit. Let me show you how a real electric type works. Stand around while uh, the trainer throws the balls. Heck yeah. That was a lot of work getting those guys. Now let's see what they have to say about Podigon Z. Hyper Beam Recover and Thunderbolt? That's what I have to see it use? Space-time distortions here are awesome. You get so many cool things. Like this blue shard. Uh oh I do not really have this in me. Two of them! Uh-oh. Why doesn't it want to be assimilated? Oh gosh. Ah. 
See, if they had abilities, I'd be able to, uh... Have had Volt Absorb. No! Oh, that's not good. On my Jolteon, but they don't have abilities in this game. Oh, well, I should run. If I get the chance. Pick up all the things I can carry. Because I decide if we battle. Not them. Oh, I got some bi barrel. A B barrel. Justin B barrel. Uh, what do you mean I don't have room? I don't need this spoiled apricorn. Apricorn. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, Rick. Okay, can I craft anything to make room in my... my thing? There's more things I can pick up. Oh, I'm just so dumb. No. What the heck is that? An Umbreon? No, I need that. Come on. You. You're coming with me. Never mind, I can't. I don't have the... There's nothing I can do here. <laughs> A real pori gun. What is this? That wasn't enough. Oh, that sure was scary going into the nightmare world. And then I can just go back and heal whenever I want. So this dawn stone I picked up, that helps me get uh, rose raid. That's why they have it in the in this area. Heck yeah. I guess that's a reasonably balanced team. I'm I'm gonna have to start dipping into my great balls soon. That felt awesome. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I thought I was holding a heavy ball. Does Jolteon have Thunderbolt or Baby Doll Eyes yet? Yes, it does. It got both of them. 
Just because it heard me say that. Now I'll use Agile Baby Doll Eyes. Never mind, I can't do that. Whatever. How many more times? I gotta check this after I do l basically anything. I have to see it use 30 agile moves? Oh my gosh. I, I mean 70 agile moves? You didn't hear the math in my head, that's what happened. Dartrix. It's got to use one more agile style move. Then we're good. And it doesn't do me as much good to have my guilty uh, on have the moves it's supposed to if it can't even use the agile version of them that it's supposed to. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Does Drifflim have any flying? Yeah, I'm supposed to beat pretty much all of them with flying type moves, so whatever. This isn't about Dartrix anymore, it's about Carnivine. It's on them. There we go, caught up. Now I can evolve him. Or metamorphize him. So Spore also does not work on Grass-type Pokemon. There's not much point in defeating them unless I am using a Flying-type. Am I done with Psyducks? I mean, wild Psyducks, anyway. No, I still have to catch one more and defeat three more. Are you gonna be one of the ones I catch or one of the ones I defeat? The choice is yours. Feed any Krikatoon? Nope, I do not have to feed them. Yes, I do. I have to feed them ten times. Oh my gosh. The little mustachio. Mustachio conscience. Eat it! You can lead a cricket to honey, but you can't make it eat it. Ah, 
I can catch that guy again. That'd be pretty fun, actually. Start off with a little hypnosis. But he's gonna use ancient power. Does it increase its accuracy? Because I'm just assuming it does make it so that you, uh... Takes more turns. It's for uh, the drowsiness to wear off. But aside from that, it might increase its accuracy, it might, uh... Might make it have a higher chance of uh, of it being asleep or too drowsy to move. Heck yeah! I don't even have to lose that many Pokemon. So after I get my Decidueye, then I'll actually... No, I do not want to run away. I want to just air slash it. Then I'll actually get to the next part of the story. Let's catch our little Burmese. That's right, I can throw the heavy ball up from all the way over here. Just because it's being distracted by a Pokemon. This game is awesome, dude. What am I doing? Oh, that was not an item. Uh, let's just try burning it. Because I don't know what's in there. I was supposed to beat it with fire type moves. Awesome. No, okay, whatever. Fine, we'll do it your way. Does a dive kick. Watch there be far fetch that I have to give a medicinal leak to. Or if I beat a far fetch, it'll make me have to. It'll drop one. Those are my predictions. And then you gotta beat these guys with rock type moves, of course. They're quad weak to rock also. It's like every bug. Well, you don't see Yun Mega outside of MU. No, not a leaden ball. Heavy ball. There we go. 
Leaden balls are for closers. do about Krogan. The bottom tier. Beat them with psychic moves. And I have to beat a lot of them with psychic moves. I have to beat more than the, of them than I have to catch. Alright, have it your way. Thanks for beating that guy. Now, immediately, uh, break this rock. And then what do I do about Graveler? In the wild. Fighting type moves? I don't have fighting type moves. Oh, whatever, I'll just leave it alone. Leave it alone of a million dollars. My swamp. Dang. Krogan said it was his swamp. Now I have to challenge him. Alright, then come fly back to me with the vivid joke. Does this Biberol have Aqua Tail yet? Yes, it does. Because that's the move it's supposed to use. And it's supposed to use Strong Style Aqua Tail 25 times. Oh, it probably doesn't even have strong style. I didn't think of that. Well, we'll use strong style bite. Just had too much swagger. Dang. There we go. Get him. These are the hippopotas that lady was asking about. All right, whatever. I'll... Hippopotas in the water. Doesn't it know better? Whew. You cannot roll in the water. Does not allow you. Excuse me, I'm just trying to kidnap your babies and 
Force them into overcrowded uh, square footage. What is that? Is that a hippopotamus too? Oh, and I'm now out of regular Pokeballs. Oh, I'm only supposed to beat it with fighting type moves, so I'll just... It's my strong style bite three times. Bite fighting type? More like biting type. It, it's not counting. Oh, and I can't really survive another rock slide from this dude, so I gotta just do that. This dude has a quest. This Geo dude. Hello there. So, you are who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help with setting up our new base camp? We're making one by the bogs. Our Odo could sure use someone as capable as you. He's a fr fresh construction corps recruit, still learning the ropes. Alright, that helps us all. The sooner I do that, the better. I can actually make feather balls now. Man, I need the apricorn for all five of these. Jeez. You know, I need a lot more money. That's my issue right now. I would save a lot of money just by, uh, only buying the actual apricorns. <laughs> Oof, what a stench! Whoa there, I'd keep your distance if I were you. Look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was gonna set up a base camp. Alright, one stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I could get someone else from the team to handle this. Someone good at battling. I'll drive- I'm not bad. Are you sure you're up to this, though? They stink something fierce. Leave it to me. Well, if you insist, but you've got to beat three of them, so be ready to run and stay downwind. Oh, we're just getting right into it? I don't get to pick my first guy? Yeah. Uh, Alright, use strong style bite, then. It avoided it, no way. Ew. It farted at me. Well, I get a heal right after this, so it's fine. Why is it missing? Isn't it a 100% accuracy move? Or is it because it's foggy or something? I think Graveler can just bulldoze everybody, but I may as well just use strong style Thunderfang on everyone because I'm pretty sure that'll knock them out. Why is everything missing? Except the poison gas never misses. The stinky skunk spray. And I think it's a... I 
know that Skun Tank is dark poison, but I think Stunky is also dark poison, so it would resist my strong style bite. Oh, and I can spam baby doll eyes now. I'll fast forward through this for you. This is how my I play my game. I just let my my Jolteon get poisoned and take damage and in the name of science. What did we learn? Nothing. And then, the sooner we can rock, get all those rock slides, the sooner I can trade evolve this guy, turn it into a golem. Because we're healing right after this, we're making a camp as we speak. As we battle. I'm sure I had like some sort of ground, uh, requirement, like I had to beat them all with ground type moves or something, but... They didn't tell me. My Dartrix can evolve now. You weren't kidding. You've got talent. And your Pokemon were so brave, too. I can't believe you handled three Stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. I don't know. Some of them got, of them got hit by some poison gas. Uh, thanks to you, we can get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. There we go. What do you think? Makes things feel a little safer out here, no? And there's not a whiff of Stunky here either. Stop by any time. How'd you get here? How did you get here without having any of your own Pokemon? You just have your Cyndaquil and Oshawott and you never do anything with them. This makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mirelands. Perhaps some Stunky will pop by for fun and games sometime, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? I get to control time. Stardust for sure. It's worth 10 Pokeballs right there. Star Peace is even better than Stardust. And that should be a lot of money. Heck yeah. That's what I needed. Anything else to tell me? You weren't kidding. You got talent. Your Pokemon were so brave too. And then, uh, how far did my Jolteon get with those baby doll eyes? I used it eight times. And they were all agile style. I have to use more Agile style moves than I have to use moves in total. And I think Dartrix is ready. Yes it is! Here we go. Dang. This is why I'm out of money. I'm trying to do trick shots like that. You 
These guys do not get upset at anything, huh? By barrel. Have you mastered your aqua tail? No, you haven't. No, that's not what I meant. Whatever. Gotta beat him eventually. It's okay, I can get away with a couple Aqua Tails that aren't strong style. Something I could break that I didn't realize I could break? Dang. I hit it and it didn't catch him? Just made him angry. That Grifflim doesn't care about its stronger agile. No, I have to use agile styles. Oh gosh. This whole time I had to use agile styles. Science! And then, uh, Yanma. What about these guys? Gotta beat them with rock types. Catch them in the night without being spotted. So if I don't sneak up on them, it's not really worth it. Luckily, they have terrible observation. That's right. Look at that rainbow up there. That's crazy. Tangela, what's your business? Catch him without being spotted. Time to evolve my... Never mind. Cool guys don't look at explosions. That's how the song goes. If you're pointed at them, when you open the, uh, the Pokedex, it'll show what you're supposed to know about. That would have been nice to know a while ago.
Psyduck looks tasty. Like, look at it. It's... Out of all the Pokemon, probably the tastiest looking one. And then Agile Style Confusion. I need these. More than any other item in the wild. There's no real substitute for it. Apricorns. Come on, eat it, please. Eat the honey. No, don't get scared. Eat it. Why is this so hard? That's the hardest challenge out of anything. Even more than getting all the poison stings from Wormple and Cascoon. Agile style mystic fire. That's what you're gonna get. So, I said I would uh, do the story as soon as my My dark tricks evolved, and then I got around that by just not evolving my dark tricks. What do you mean I don't have space for it? Mystical Fire, one of the coolest looking moves in this whole game. So, Pokemon in the wild don't naturally attack each other. They only attack each other if I capture them and make them do it. I'm paralyzed and poisoned. That's a first. Or does it replace my paralysis? 
because it's not showing that I'm stunned anymore. That seems like a double strat right there, to poison your own Pokémon so that they, uh... aren't asleep. Still need to beat a considerable number of Paris. Seven more. I don't really want to do the story, I just want to do the grinding. Zelia turned back into a oh, I was saying something I don't remember what it was. You're just never gonna hear the end of the thing. Gunks, they look like little people. Other Pokemon look like things that aren't people. <laughs> Does that, that make any... What am I even saying? How am I already out of inventory space? They just look so geometric. <coughs> Where'd the ghastly go? Did it just turn invisible? Oh, I was supposed to use Agile as Sonic. Oh my gosh. wrong direction pad. 
Okay, let's see if the D-pad works for it. The D-pad works. But the movement stick does not work. That's why you have to press L. I'm trying to finish the uh, drift limb so I can switch to ghastly. After you see it do 27 more agile style moves. And mystical fire 15 times. So 12 of those moves. Can be whatever I want. Like astonish and confusion. Those both sound like pretty much the same thing, right? No. actually not supposed to beat them with electric type moves necessarily. It's a uh, weasel who I have to beat with electrics. Yeah, I can just beat them however I want. Too complicated, I'm not even gonna go for him. If I remember right, the pink worm atom is best because it's a steel type. Annie's last lost satchel. Annie, are you okay? Oh. Am I in the right direction of the satchel? I hope it's not on top of the hill right there. Otherwise, that seems really easy to get. Right here? Uh, yeah, according to my map, it should be right about here. Says I don't see anything. You're making me stand out in the rain for this? to be Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh oh. Ah, oh, man. These guys are really hard to catch without getting into a fight. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Decidueye looks like? Is there a Hosuin de Decidueye? That's so weird! It's grass fighting? Okay, triple arrows, leaf blade, and leaf storm. And it does not yet have leaf storm. And it doesn't have the mastered either. So I should just hold on to him for a little while. I really didn't expect there to be a Hisuan Decidueye. No one told me about this. Mine's just blown over here. Is it even a grass type? Yeah, yes it is. It's it can't fly anymore. Alright, while I'm being attacked, you get those rocks. Not last, oh my gosh. But I think uh, Decidueye here is resistant to the rock by quite a bit. No, fighting doesn't resist rock. I know because Halucha's weak to rock. Mm -hmm. 
Where is it? I don't. I don't know. It got enra enraged, but it's just too sleepy. After that, I was gonna start using aerial lace on it. And is that all the alpha tang growth I need to catch? Yes. Well, time to get on the horse. If I throw it here, cool. Save and end the video, and then you'll get to see what happens in the actual story. You know, no, never mind, never mind. Before I do that, I'm gonna go to the camp. How is he in every camp I go to? Keep forgetting to do this. Feel bad that I said I was gonna end the video. Now you're just like, whoa, this is taking way too long. Hmm, you made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. I have half of them. With this, you have officially attained the rank of 5th star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Wing Balls. Pokemon of up to level 65 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be generous now too. Have this as well. It's a f further recipe you'll need for crafting. They're Feather Balls, but the Great Ball version. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing this Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Heck yeah. Now I'm just gonna buy a bunch of Apricorns. Six hundred thirty apricorns. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Let's do four hundred, though. Start out with leaden, then 
great. Jeez. Use all the tumble stones I have. Cool. Remedy. Those all sound pretty terrible. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my next video. Buy my t-shirts. Leave some comments.